Hi guys! I have a super fun project to share with you guys today. So I was kind of in a slump, was going through or scrolling through YouTube and I found a video of uh, someone making little booklets but binding them with uh, the Tim Holtz fabric. I, I'm calling it fabric tape. I'm not sure. Is it fabric or the linen tape? I forget. But um, using this to bind the books. And so I thought that that was genius. And so I, I wanted to give it a shot. And so, of course, I made four. And, excuse me, my nose itched. And so I thought, you know what, this would be fun to share with you guys. I hadn't seen it. It was an old video. I'll tag her um, giving her credit because this was not my original idea. And the, I just thought that this was so much fun. So I used repair tags for this. And here you can see the binding looks so cool. And it opens perfectly. And so I thought, you know what, let's give it a shot. I also made a really Tim Holtzy grungy one because that's what we love. And and I made the same, the, using the same method, I just did different size tags because I thought it would look cool. And I think it does. And so I just made like little pockets everywhere. So that's what we're gonna do. I just thought that it was so much fun. So here I just collaged on some. I made actual pockets on other sides. And so I just thought that this was really, really cool. So here's a little tuck here, a little tuck there, and just a lot of little collaging. So with that being said, I wanted to challenge myself, you guys. I thought of making something super chic, super cool, and just using black and white. So as you can see here, I have some black and white little tidbits everywhere and I just brought out all my little black and white stickers my black and white um, ephemera that I found I stamped this little guy out and I cut him out and we'll be using some of the Tim Holtz uh, paper dolls which I think would be really cool on this project and I brought out some just really bright white because you guys know I do not like bright white but I'm thinking that this might look really cool. So I wanted to give it a shot. So let's try it out right here. Let's do the binding first. I already cut out my strips. Now in the video, she says to you, if you're gonna do this, that it's better to use um, your booklet to have even number sheets, okay? So I'm doing six. And that's what I did with all of my other ones. They're all six because I thought four was too little and eight would be too many. So I thought six would be perfect. So let's go ahead and do that. Now using six sheets, I do have, and I already pre-cut and I already took the backing off of the tape. I pre-cut 13 pieces of, or 13 strips. So you want them fairly thin, not too thick. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is what we're gonna do, okay? This is gonna be our cover. So let's take the first one. And I already know which one, um, which side is my binding because I rounded the edges on this one, um, on this side where you're gonna actually open and then this binding is not. So we're gonna do three here on the first one. So I'm going to put the top, the bottom, and then put one right in the middle. This just helps me with my spacing, guys. You guys, if you guys could do it without doing a one, two, three, then more power to you. Okay, so this is the front one. Always start with three or the highest number because if you have a bigger book that you want to do, you might need more strips. Okay, the second one, the second sheet after turning this one over, okay, this is our first one, turning it over, our second sheet is gonna have two and we're gonna put them right in the middle of the first three. So right in the middle. I've always been wanting to figure out something to use with these tapes because your girl's got a lot of them. 
And so I've been wanting to use them for something and I thought this is perfect. Okay, so the front one has three, the second one has two. So the one, the first one that we did has the three and we're gonna fold those over and stick them down. We're leaving the two open. So the second sheet had two, we're doing three again. So that's all it is, is three, two, three, two. So we wanna even them out, make sure that they're pretty much in the same spots. Okay, now the two that we have open are the ones that we're going to fold over. So we're doing those two, leaving the three out. So the three is just what we did, so we're doing two. I hope I'm explaining this right. Okay, so the three is what we have. I'm calling it open, but you guys know what I mean. So the three is what was is what's folding over. One, two, three leaving the two exposed. So now we're doing three, one, two, oops, sorry, and three. Okay. So the two that we had from the prior one is folding over. And then your last three would be from this sheet, your last, your back cover, I guess, evening out and folding the three over. And there you have it. There's your little book. Is that the cutest thing? I love it. So now it's time to decorate. Okay, very chic, right? And so since I do have a lot of washi, I wanted to use white so let's do white here and then I am going to use my archival ink to ink around so I got a new little dauber so we're going to ink around it so no measuring here guys I just want to leave a black border and then we're going to cover really pretty this I want to leave a little bit of a border and so I'm just marking where I could cut to leave the, the front border. I'm gonna put it all white and then on the inside we'll make little pockets and then decorate it. So that's why I'm saying that this might take a minute to decorate, which is of course our favorite part. So I brought out my little cutter and I'm just cutting it down. And I do want to round the corners just to kind of match up with the front cover. Okay, let's use our ink. I was gonna use my black soot, but that one looks more gray. So I wanted it to look black. So guess what? Uh, use your black, Maggie. Which I don't know if I've ever done before using the actual black, but we're doing it now, which I think would be really cool. Okay. And we're just gonna glue that down using our art glitter glue. And just glue this down. I'm not gonna make a pocket, this is my cover. So I want it to actually be a really cool P. 
piece of art. I've never done anything in black and white and I just thought, you know what, let's try something different and try to make something look very chic but old at the same time. Does that make does that make sense? And so we'll decorate after. Okay? Let's just go ahead and make our pockets. So let's see. Should we just make a regular pocket here? Let me get this little piece out. I could do just a belly band because I have this. Let's do that. Let's make a little belly band here. And then we can decorate it up. Just gonna ink everything. The whole part of making like the pockets and everything is um it's easy, but sometimes trying to figure out different ways so that they don't always look the same, that's kind of tough for me. That's when Pinterest comes into play. <laughs> when I just kind of scroll through Pinterest and see different ideas. There. So there we have a belly band. Here maybe we can do like a little side tuck or should we do just a regular pocket? Let's just do a pocket. So I'm marking it here and here. Just giving myself some type of little border. We can use this for another, another little belly band if needed. So this one, we're gonna make into a pocket. So I am going to put like a little thumb notch. Should we, let me see. No, I think it's okay. I was going to say, should we put the little, like, round that bottom corner? But no, I think we're okay because I did cut it to where it's going to leave a border. Yeah. Let me know, have you guys ever tried doing a project just in black and white? You know, it reminds me of, you know, the old shows, the old movies. When there was no color on the TV. And I thought, wouldn't that be fun to just try to do something like that? We can even bring out our little, um, little snapshots, our little... Uh, photo booth, photomatic, all of that stuff, just to kind of work it and see how that does. There is this one, let me see, let me get my... I'm going to get my two inch... my two inch punch and I'm going to make a little let's do it on this side I want to do just a little tuck but this I have to cut it just a little round circle tuck on the top I thought that would be cute to keep it okay and this one we are going to corner around this just to make sure that it's even where am I going yeah this is it I just thought that that might be fun right put it right here so 
So let's try it. always leaving a border. I just think it looks really cool. See, now we have a little tuck spot this way. Cool, right? Here we'll do what, like a, like a side, you know what I mean? This way, or should we do it this way? Ooh, maybe we could do it this way. Let's do that. Getting my pencil. Just leaving a little bit of a border. to move my stuff around. I need more, I need more space. <laughs> okay, let's see. We're gonna put this here. I could do a little, a little notch. Let's do it on this side since I marked that side. We'll do it here. Just a little one right in the middle or somewhat in the middle because I'm not about to measure. Another fun, another fun project would be to make one super colorful using the um, the Tim Holtz palette with all of the different colors. That would be beautiful. But I wanted to try my hand at this one first. I kind of like the tuck, these little side tucks to be on this side because like that you can kind of leave like a little tab or a little, you know what I mean? Like using like an index card or something and then leaving the little tab out. That would be fun. That it looks really cool on the outside of it. Okay, so let's see. Oh, we've got a lot more pockets to make. Okay. Let's keep going. Um, this one we could we could do just kind of a another another little pocket. This one I think I might have to, and then get my little notch. Let's do I kind of want something like diagonal, right? That might be fun. I'm trying to see all the other little pieces that I have to see if there's something else. 
that I could use, but I kind of like the whole diagonal look. Maybe, let me just cut this down. And then see how we can make this little diagonal. Oh, wow, I almost cut that down perfect. I just need a little bit more just to leave a bigger border. Yeah, and then we can cut maybe here leaving a little bit of a pocket. Let's see. Let's see how that's going to work. I'm going to line up my dots. And cut. Did that work? Yes. Let's corner this one. Let's go ahead and ink. Okay. So we're going to glue here, the bottom. side. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Then what else could we do? Should we do one by going diagonal at the top? Let's see what that works. I need to see how I can, just a square, oh, we could do just a square on the top, tuck it in, right, that might be cool. So we're doing these three. Not three, two. What did I say three? I'm not doing three sides. Okay. Then we can do... We can do just a side tuck on this side. Let's do that. Let's do this way first. So I don't cut up too much too much of the paper. Let's corner these here. Okay, now we can ink. quiet right <laughs> concentration I just want to hurry up and decorate <laughs> I'm so excited ooh this works out right actually this works out pretty well <laughs> this is just a little scrappy piece I already had 
I might have to cut that corner. Yeah, let me just cut. I'm just gonna snip it with my scissors. Okay, that works. Let me just ink. This one I didn't even try to do like a, a sample run because I wanted to see on camera how we can make it look. Sometimes it's fun to just kind of see where it leads you. Some projects, not all of them. Some, I, I mean, there's others that I need to do a dry run first because I'm not going to waste all that time and then it not come out right. <laughs> okay, this is the last one. So let's see. What other what others have we done? Oh, we can do another belly band, I guess. Let's do a belly band here. This was just a white um, letter size paper that I that I got and I almost used all of it just to make the pockets for this size book it's somewhat straight and then the back we could do a little frame looking thing back here let's just cut this down to size we're gonna leave a pretty good size frame black frame around it I think that might be cool and we'll just glue this whole piece down yeah, no, I don't have to do the rounds. I don't have to corner round this because it has a pretty good size border. And then we can decorate. Let's just put a little ink just around the edges. Because with this glue, it won't go anywhere. And let's see. Figure out where I want this. That looks good. Okay. Are we ready? I might still need to ink depending on... Look, out of the the letter size, the white, this is all I have left. So, not bad. Not bad at all. I could have used it all up, but... Let's see. I cut him out, and I thought that he might be really cool on the front, right? Do I ink around him or no? Let me just try. Yeah, we're going to ink around him just a tiny bit. So let's leave this open. Just so that he stands out a little bit more and doesn't blend too much into... I just cut him out of regular copy paper, guys, because I was just kind of testing out my, my stamp. Because this is one of my new ones that I got. I think, I think he's called the Professor... I think that's what he's called but whatever I could link of my supplies I will yeah that looks cool what should we put behind him I have these washi stickers what is this that kind of looks cool 
See, this is why I wanted to use white so that with my washi stickers, it'll work. Let's see, should I do that or should I do this? That might be cool. And let's see, what else? No, I kind of like the numbers on this one. Oops. Let's close this up for now. Or else I'm going to get black ink all over myself. We could keep it simple. We're trying to do very chic, right? <laughs> but yet, I keep wanting to go overboard. Mm, maybe we should do like a little... Okay, let's just put this down. I'm not going to ink any of my washi stickers. Because you know I could, but I won't. Let's just put this down. <gasps> Ooh, doesn't that look cool? And then, let's see. Let me show you guys what I'm grabbing here. These are some of my little stickers. If you guys remember in one of my Timu hauls, I... I grabbed a bunch of um, little what you seek is seeking you. Ooh, does that sound like creepy? No, right? Oh, that might work. I just need like a little something back here. Let's see, what's back here? Should I do a drugstore? No, I need something like No. Let's see. What about these? What is this? No. This? This might be better. This just has some typing on it. Hmm. No. I don't have anything like um, round. I feel like something round coming out from there would be better. Uh, let's see. What do we have in here? This is some of my... This came from my memoirs. Maybe flowers? Would that be weird? Yeah, that'll be weird. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Let's keep it simple. Stop overthinking it. We're keeping it simple. Let's just add glue to this. Hopefully this won't warp any because it is just regular paper. I do need to put a little bit on his stash because I don't want it to come <laughs> curling up. <laughs> Let me get my tweezers. Put this here. Yeah. And then we can just put this here. Ooh, cool. Okay, let's keep going. Here we can put maybe some numbers, a little... Oh, that looks cool. Okay, let's do that. Let's 
See, this is where my tweezers help me figure out where I need to put stuff. Okay. Here, let's put one of our let's put one of our mini dolls. What should we put? What should we put? No. It's gotta be. No, I don't want to cut off anybody's feet, so it might have to be like a little, like this little girl. Yeah, we'll put her, but we'll put her sitting on, because you know, she's got to be sitting on something. She can't just be floating in the air. Oh, see, that looks good. Okay, so this is going to go right in the middle. And these are cool because these are just paper stickers. And then maybe put, we can put her here. I think it should have gone a little bit lower, but I think we can make it. And what else? Um, how about the little flowers? I have these little flowers. No. It should have gone behind her, like underneath this thing. So, let's do... No. Mm, trying to see if there's anything else that I could use. No. Okay, then we're going to have to use one of these then. We'll just do that. I love using stickers. Aren't they so satisfying? I don't use them enough. That's why I really wanted to get out all of my... Yeah, she'll work perfect there. Okay, let's just get rid of the white around her. And then my tweezers, because she's tiny, we'll put a little bit of glue. Perfect. So cute. I love it. Okay, next. Ooh, now we can do a bigger one here. We can put somebody standing. Let's see. Who do we have? Standing, standing. I don't want groups though. Gotta be just one. Nice. Nope. Why are all of my guys sitting? Look, everybody's sitting. Sitting, sitting. What is happening? I want somebody standing, unless I've already used them all. <laughs> unless I've already used them all. Does she look creepy? Mm. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I want, I want something tall, but I wanted something more with, no, it, see, it needs to be one person. Come on. Ooh, look, see? Yes. We can put him standing on something. What do we have? How about this? No. Is that two? Let me see if I can cut this down. No, I need my bigger scissors. These help me cut straighter. I'm just gonna cut this all the way, trimming everything off. Does that work? Nope, still too big. No. Still too big. <clears throat> no. We can put persist, shine like the stars. Let's see, do we have anything else? 
We can put him standing on a little tag thing. No, that looks weird. <laughs> that looks weird. Okay, should we do this? And then put like... Ooh, see? That would have been a good one. Look what that says. T.C. Rowles. He's a druggist. Right? That would have been cool. To put like that was his name. You know what I mean? Should we save him for another spot? Let me see. Ooh, see? We can put this here. Ha! Huh. We can put that. That's his name. Let me see. But I need to put something behind him because it's too white. Could we put the... Where was it at? No, not this. The um, the thing that I cut. This one. Yeah. I'm going to put this down. Here. Wait, I need to make sure that it doesn't come over. And then put this down here. This is his little nameplate. And then, let me see. I thought I had, yeah, like little numbers. I don't know, do I want to put a number or it kind of looks like a coffin. <laughs> Is that creepy? <laughs> that looks a little too creepy for me. Okay, we're not doing that. No. No. We're gonna leave it. We're gonna leave it. So let's get rid of the white around him. And then tweezers. And then we'll put this here. That sticker is a little crooked, but it's okay. Now let's go back to here. What could we put there? I do have these stickers of these lovely ladies. She might be pretty there. Oh, I need something a little bit thinner. Um. No, unless I do another guy, but I really wanted a girl. I could cut her down. Let me just really quick cut her down. Only because this border is way too thick. I'm not trying to do super... super crazy fuzzy cutting like super detailed I'm just trying to cut around just a tiny bit yeah see that looks better now I can put her down here and then put maybe a little label or something on the top we can put this but I would have to cut it down. Let's just cut it down. I feel like that's the only place where that's gonna look okay. Let's cut that down and then we can put like another little, no, it's too thick. Um. Let's see. Anything else? We can put that. Okay. Let me move these out of the way. So let's put her down first. These are more like, ooh, do you hear that? They're more like a vellum, like vellum stickers. And then we'll put this up here. 
and then we can put this right under. Okay, now here, what could we put there? I could put some, some little, mm, no, I was going to see if I can put some type of little floral thing or something there. Mm, no, I'm not liking it. How about little things like this? Numbers? Did it, is that the same number that I put over here? Yep. It sure is. We can just do that. Layer that down. this down. We could put a little number. Is that too much? Yeah, it'll work. Just a little darker something there. Yeah. Okay. Now we need something here. Let's do one of our little... Um, let's do one of our little photo booth. I need something... I feel like... Let me see... I need more of a straight face, not too smiley. Nothing too cheeky. Um, no, let's keep looking. We could put this one because it kind of looks like that guy. Well, let's see. Well, she's not happy at all. <laughs> okay, keep going. Mm. No. Oh, she's not happy either. <laughs> So cute. Okay, I guess we're just gonna go with that guy. Let's do him. Let's just cut him out real quick. I have to get as close to the border as I can because I don't have a lot of space there. And we will round the corners for him too. Let's round these. Let's see. No, I'm going to have to cut off some of his shirt. Yeah, that works. Okay. Just ink around here, and then we can put a label behind him. Let's see. How about something like this? Yeah, that looks good. But I still want something else. Um, put freedom. No, that just looks weird. How about...
fortune favors the brave. That might be cool down here. No, it has to be on. Right? Fortune favors the brave. I like that. Put those over there. I need something. Mm. Should we cut this down? This one. Actually, I just think I like that. Just like that. So we'll cut right under this here. We'll cut that down. Yep, I like that better. Gotta make sure. There. And then we can glue him down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Put him right in the corner. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Moving away my scraps. Now here, should we do some, oh look, for this side, even though I think it's supposed to be this way, right? I wonder, do we have something where we can put that? We could put it this way. Ooh. I like that and that's it just put that and that's it we are good to go right that looks cool okay well there's that that looks really cool okay down here mm, I did do all of them right making sure Okay, here, let's put, um, let's see, another one of these labels. I think this might fit. Cutting this one down. I love these scissors. I bought them at Ross forever ago, and I love them. They've stayed sharp for so long. Yeah, I like that. That fits perfect. We're gonna put that there, and maybe we'll put like a little, a little something else on top. But we'll put this right here. We need a little something. How about a little boy or something sitting? I wonder if he'll fit. I need a little boy, a little boy. Let me see him. Cute! Yep, that's it. We're gonna put him sitting right here. <laughs> Very cute. Cute little tuck spot. Okay. Let's see. I want to put a strip of this. Wouldn't that be cool? So let's get a little bit of this. Cut this down. Glue that down here. That would be cool. And put another... I want another, another person. Okay, let's see her. I know I said she looked creepy, but she'll actually fit perfect here, right on the bottom.
put a label. Let's see, we could put this, put this underneath it. That kind of looks cool. I might have to cut it down though. Or put it, let me see. Do I have something a little bit smaller? Yeah, this one. We'll put this one down first. I'm trying to think because I do have this. Uh, which way does this go? I think this goes like this. We could cut this down. That might be cool. Let's do that. We can put this here and maybe this right here and then her down here can you even see that it's no you can't even tell unless we put something like this put this here all right we could do that let me cut this down Just trying to use up my different stickers and things that I have. This I'm going to have to Let me move her out of the way. I'm putting it a little bit off to the side because I don't want it to be completely straight. And then I can put her down here. Yeah, that looks cool. Whoops, forgot her feet. And and then the last one. What are we gonna do back here? Um, let's see. I'm trying to see the things I have back here. I could put this. That would look cool. I could put... I like all the numbers on this. Okay, let's put this down. Then maybe we can put a bigger paper doll or something there. So let's put this here. Ink around here. Let me get more ink. Let's ink around the edges. This here. Let me get my my tweezers to help me hold this stuff down. Okay. Put this this way. Off to the side. And then let me see, we might need a little label or something on the bottom. Now we could probably use this one. Yeah. And then we can figure out what paper doll to put here. So should we get a bigger one? We could do this married couple. That might be cute. That actually looks really cute. Let's just take away a little bit of this white on her side. And after this, we are done. We can do a flip through so we can see what we've made or what we've accomplished using black and white.
you guys. Let me move. It took an hour, but it was so worth it. Look at this. Is that too cute? I might end up adding a little few things here and there, but this is our little black and white book. Our little black book. <laughs> is this too cute? Oh, we didn't do this. Darn it. I have that. We could do the... Oh my gosh, here I am thinking that we were done. That is so funny. I thought we were done. Let's do... Um, we could put that underneath it. No, let's just do number five. Okay, we'll put this. We'll put this down. I thought we were done. I should have double checked before. And then we'll put the five here. And then we're done. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Now we're done. And then we have a bunch of tuck spots. So let's test it out here. Tuck spot, side tuck there, or a little corner tuck. We have a tuck here, tuck here. Here and here. And that's it. That's it, you guys. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was so much fun to try to challenge myself not to use any color, but to just do black and white. And I love it. I love the way this came out. So let me know. This was my little black and white challenge, guys. So if you guys want to try it, um, should we do a hashtag? I don't know if this will go viral. <laughs> do hashtag black and white challenge. <laughs> But here, we did, here it is, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!